Hey everybody, they really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Period Cube, Shackles of Amadeus. We are on, we are on Libera's route, and I think this should be our good ending. Not sure how long it'll be, but should be it. Libera just, uh, opened the secret passage by figuring out the code, figuring out the code. So let's move on in. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. Shouldn't have been so easy to guess. He's a programmer for crying out loud. Even though Natsu's gone now, he's still helping Libera. He thought ahead. From this point on, I know the way. Everyone stick close to me. Whoa, here's a room I haven't seen. Damn, that was so quick. Hmm, hey, where are the enemies? The there's no one here. Oh, I'm sure they'll show up. Well, the period cube's in the next room. Yeah, where's the boss? Shouldn't there be a boss here? But in this room. There we go. Ah, back to this one again. The boss of this room is a golem. Yes! Here comes a big one! There's the last boss. Looks like he can bring on the pain. If you come over here, I'll curse every last bit of you. I hope all of you remember what I told you. This place is... Yeah, yeah, I know. And I remember, too. Okay, whatever that means. <sighs> Whoa, that was close. The floor cracked apart. Eek! Don't come this way. Get back. I'll take care of this. I have to do something. Before I could even finish the thought, I realized I had taken a step forward. I'm sure I can do it now. Amadeus, you shouldn't be so close. I think I've got it figured out. With the... the edge, it's... And the Divine Blade should be too. There we go. Oh, look! It's the first time I've seen him actually cross the blades like that. It looks pretty cool. My Divine Blade as well. Hey, what's going on? You're glowing. Once Hiryo pointed it out, I could see a glowing crest rise up from within me. A glow along with strength. This is the crest of Arcadia. Unbelievable. They're resonating. I know I can protect everyone. With the Almighty's power. This light is the same as before. My Almighty's power? Kazaha! Why hadn't I been able to use it freely until now? This power was by my side all this time. I might have pretended it wasn't there because I was afraid. I could feel strength growing within me. There was something I wanted to obtain now. She is absorbing the light from the Divine Blade. I didn't realize the Edge had this power dormant within it. The Infernal Shadow's Edge, the Divine Blade of Light, the Almighty Amadeus... Please hear me, Trinity of Swords. If I didn't try, I'd regret it forever. Natsu's wishes, Riku's tears, I won't let them go to waste. I have to win for everyone here. So we could go back to the real world. It's gone. The golem in an instant. I couldn't even see anything. Whoa. Did we defeat it? What, did I collapse? I looked around the room to check, but the view around me blurred. Ah! Look out, Kazaha! Are you okay? Kazaha! We defeated it, didn't we? Jeez, don't push yourself. No, please, let me push myself. Huh? I'm glad I was the Almighty. I was able to help everyone. Able to help you. Above all, I was able to meet Libera. Idiot. Ah, oh, you let her push herself too. Ah, oh, you let her push herself too hard. Shiki. Shiki. Oh, here are you. I didn't see you there. Shiki, what are you doing here? His arch nemesis. Who are you? It can't be. 
You are the older brother of Amadeus. So that's her brother. He's got a super evil face. Hey, don't say that about my brother. Them? He doesn't even look like her at all. Of course I don't look like her. Don't say something so repulsive. Eek! <laughs> He's scary! W what happened to you, Shiki? What are you talking about? I haven't changed from before. Well, I'm always on Kazuha's side. You really did a number on us. Well, I'm glad you don't know when to quit. We won't let you do as you please. Huh? So, what are you gonna do? Stop this, Shiki! You said this new world would be for me, but I don't want that. Come back with us to the real world, okay? Oh, I can't do that. Why not? Because you... No, that's not right. I wouldn't do to make excuses now. Well, this is all my ego, so go ahead and blame me for it all. If you absolutely want to stop me, you're going to have to kill me. No. Oh, I don't want to see a future where my wishes haven't come true. You're the worst, using your life as a shield. You know she would never... I told you this is all my ego, didn't I? What's wrong with saying the best thing for my wishes to come true? Even if it degrades me to the lowest form of human, it's no problem. So, you're saying you don't care about her feelings? All this time, I thought it would be the end of my life if she hated me. Shiki. However, a person's soul doesn't die so easily. Quite unfortunate. Your spirit is surprisingly tough. It's only your body that's weak, get it? A little brother. The reason you could reunite with Natsu was the period cube. <clears throat> Shiki opened the heavy doors. Sadness injures the heart, but it does not take away the energy of the soul. Humans are strong, and time wounds heal and they can stand once again. However, death is an eternal cessation of existence. An absurd phenomenon made real because our bodies break down. You have no right to say that. You're the one taking away people's lives. You're an idiot. I'm not some god from a fairy tale. I can't just guide all of humanity to happiness. Everyone's just got two arms. I can only protect my own happiness. Shiki raised his hand, and the period cube slowly lowered. Stay out of that room, everyone. You and your ceaseless lies. Wait, don't go inside. You'll be trapped by the period cube. The outcome will be, the outcome will be the same either way. So why not just go in? Uh, Whoa! W what the? Behind us! Another one? Darn it, Shiki! How many of these can you spawn? Eek! The, the column! But, but we just defeated it. The final boss revived. How? This is crazy. Now then, now then, what are you gonna do? We'll be trapped in the period cube if we go in that room. He's trying to pressure us to go in. Now can we use the Trinity again? Look out! Shine, Divine Blade of Light. Ugh, what strength. We're done for if we let up. Everyone, if this is the case, then let's all defeat the Golem. Oh, the plan we talked about before. Right, I agree. All right, we couldn't show off thanks to the Trinity of Swords earlier. We totally wasted that. We'll crush you with all the strength we've been saving up. I'll be turning off my defense stances and going all out. Well, I'm good here. I'll recover. I'll recover all the damage you guys take. I, I'll do my best. We'll face this with all our strength. All right, let's do this. Flames, return it to ashes. Calm, Ignis. Let's go. Shadow's Edge. Divine Blade, show me your strength. Here we go. Look over here, Golem. Caliburn's Alma. Iron Wall of Protection, Mouth Firm. 
brandishing the demon lance. Yeah. Oh, even he has a special weapon. Huh? Inglas Rebellio. Did he go down after one round of attacks? Huh? Oh, look at all of you having fun. The period cube won't be stopped even if you defeat that thing. Shiki. Have you come to talk sense into me? Why are you doing this, Shiki? I already told you for his dream. I will apologize for dragging you into this. I intended to call you to World V once everything had been prepared. That doesn't answer my question. I just told you. This is all because of my ego. But it's supposed to be for me, right? Uh. When Shiki spoke, he stared straight at me, but his eyes were trembling. Shiki, he's hiding something. But he just wouldn't answer. If only I could hate him. But he was still my family. Even if it wasn't by blood, even if he did terrible things to everyone. I can't hate him or forgive him. I found something else valuable to me. I found something I want to protect. No matter what your reasons, I don't need a new world. There was no reason for you to do all this and become so evil. Oh, I'm sorry. Shiki looked like his usual self as he smiled, looking somewhat worried. But I didn't want you to. Oh, huh? what is this? What's this? Same reaction. It's finally starting. Oh, so this is part of our plan. Ah! Face my companions of the dead, Marcia and Katuria. Oh, th it's this. Here it comes. All right. All right. How about another? Bellow, my divine blade. I never heard him say that one before. Feels like the world is falling apart. What the? What's going on? Damn it. The static. Before we entered the Ark, we called a few friends. We told them they didn't need to enter the Ark, but to gather at the entrance. So, what about it? Are they crashing the server? Huh. That was supposed to be a pretty big hint. I just still don't get it. It can't be. Seriously, are we crashing the server? Overload? This is... What in the world was that? Calm down. This is fine. Keep going. The third is waiting on some cooldowns. We'll be able to start in a minute. Second group is ready at any time. There are a lot of random players gathered here. What should we do? It's to our advantage to have them. Stand where you can hear the countdown. We don't need precision here. Got it. We're all good here, too. Hey, wait a second. I got a message from a friend in Adventurer's Town. It says another ten people are coming. Will they be here soon? I think before our skills recover. A message came from my friend, too. You two sure are popular. We've braved a lot of dungeons, but we're nowhere near as popular as you. Really? You can never tell how someone could be of help anymore. To think that even I could help, even not being able to actually fight. Besides, it's more because of Libera's cuteness than our popularity that we were able to get so many people. Yeah, there's no way anyone could turn her down when she asks so cutely. Some other players have reached town. Whoa, there's some pretty serious lag. Yep, we're crashing the server. We'll be fine, right? There's big shot angels, so there wouldn't be problems. When did so many players get here? Zane, what's wrong? How did so many players come to gather here? I see. So you were the Judas. Uh huh. Ch uh. Huh? Huh? What was I just doing? I guess Shiki's left him. Hey, Zane, what's wrong? He got away. Well, that's fine. He just got a peek at what we're up to. What do you mean? 
We're almost at the critical point. It's starting. Get ready. We're going to tear down the Ark altogether. In the middle of speaking to Libera, Shiki suddenly stopped. Shiki, what's wrong? He didn't even blink. Oh, I think he can see what's going on. Huh? How? Oh, I'm not sure, but his timing in facing us is just too perfect. It wouldn't be strange for someone who created the system to have their own characters, or to be able to monitor us. What is that? Oh, welcome back. So, did you see what was happening outside? So you plan this? Yeah, I'm a casual who doesn't really go places with high difficulty, but I do have a lot of acquaintances. I've been playing with Natsu since the beta test, and I realized... When a bunch of people gather together, the server can't process the load, and you're forced to log out of the game. I knew it. So you intentionally gathered these players in one place. If that many players use flashy spells, the server processing will slow down, causing a nice processing delay. If we surpass the processing threshold, then even the period cube would stop operating. That's a pretty impertinent plan you've got going on there. Damn it. How irritating. I've been in this room for a while now, but the mission complete window hasn't appeared, has it? Yeah. Maybe it's because it's difficult to process travel to and from here. You brat, don't get so cocky. Will you try forcing the period cube to punish this brat? Or will you defeat us with high-level magic instead? Well, either way, it seems like the server will take on quite the burden. Our movements are slowing now. I think it's the end of the golem fight. Are our movements stuttering? Ugh, this is pretty slow. Oh, it's gotta be so annoying. Don't complain, and keep fighting. Heed my call, Divine Blade, show me your true worth. Ugh, this is some crazy lag. That has got to be really weird experiencing lag when you're when it feels like you're in real life like that. I, I can't move. Our enemies and allies, their movements are stalling. I just need to swing my axe. Jeez, the effects from the Divine Blade and the Shadow's Edge are crazy heavy. Hey, Libera, if you don't come soon, we'll finish up without you. Hi, you're all doing too well. It's tough just trying to get there. Wait, I'll help too. What did I just do? Yeah, here comes a big one. I can use it already? Don't push yourself. I'll be okay. I closed my eyes and focused. A warm, gentle, strong power. It was a power that couldn't be created out of nothing. The edge is resonating again. The vine blade, offer all of your power to Amadeus, leave not a single shred. Strength is flowing into me. All right. It's about time we all use our strongest skills together. Ready? Of course. Y yes, I'll summon as many underlings as I can and use my strongest skill. We'll throw around the flashiest skills we've got. Yeah, that's why we've been keeping them saved all this time. The strength of this world flowed in and became the almighty strength. Everyone's voices, their strength, their wishes... I can feel them. Ah! Ugh. Libera, hang in there. I just stumbled a bit. No big deal. Libera! Hmm? Why are we glowing together? Are you okay? Yeah, my chest kind of hurts is all. Well, this is pretty pathetic of me, huh? In these last moments. Well, this might not be lag, but because I'm afraid. I avoided anything troublesome and just let everything pass me by. This is the first time I've really tried. It's scary. I squeezed Libera's hand, hoping he would be able to feel some of the warmth flowing within me. I'm sure it'll be fine. 
So many gathered at Libero's call, they came to help believing in him. That's how so much strength was able to flow through me now. Yeah, let's win this. Let's go! Ready, and... Oh, I guess we crashed it. Ugh. I heard someone rustling beside me. This is... Shiki's room. That means... I sat up, startled, and my body felt so light that I became dizzy. That's right, we were all trying to stop the period cube. Huh? Where... Kazaha, what happened to us? Well, your plan worked. Riku woke up and slowly looked around the room. Oh, this is Shiki's apartment. We've returned to the real world. So, does that mean we stopped the period cube? Riku looked bewildered, and I nodded. You were right. No way. Everything went as planned. We did it. We really did it. Eek! Riku hugged me with all his strength. It's unreal. Everything went so smoothly. I can't believe it. We aren't in some kind of dream? I wrapped an arm around Riku's back. It's not a dream. Look at that. Turning him slightly, I pointed toward the monitor on the desk. No longer says accessing world V. Displayed on the screen was only static. Take a moment after every mistake. And find a new path. If you can smell at the end of it all, you won. You saw us win, right, Natsu? After so much struggling, traveling down different paths, we finally made it. Oh, I'm kind of scared now. I think I've used up all the luck I had in life. Don't worry, you'll be able to get by on your own strength. Oh, there's that naive confidence again. Dreams won't come true from just wishing, but if there's someone precious to you close by, they can come true. You taught me that. When can I try it out? Riku spoke, stepping away and gently taking my hand. I want you to be by my side. I can really try my best if you're with me. Riku's eyes trembled, uneasy and nervous. I knew the magic words that would put a smile on his face. Yes, of course. Let me be with you. Thanks. And also, well... Huh? Well, um, you and me. What? Hey, don't look at me so much. Why? Why? Well... Well? well that's embarrassing. <laughs> Eek! Suddenly, Riku pushed me onto the floor. Jeez. You still think of me as a girl, don't you? Th that's not true. No, you definitely do. If you don't, that's even worse. How are you so defenseless against me? Because you're just so cute it's disarming. Well, that buddy-buddy attitude of yours. Are you like that with everyone? Even if I wanted to struggle free, Riku was strong enough that I couldn't. Really? He looked down at me with such a strong gaze, and I felt my face prickle. That's... Not true. Really? Gently, Riku's right hand held my cheek, as if he were touching a broken object. You aren't going to push away my hand. His fingers moved softly, searchingly, while his gentle gaze fell on me. I can't take this anymore. What am I doing? I squeezed my eyes shut. Hey, why did you close your eyes? If only he understood how I felt just from his touching me. My heart began to race, and my skin felt hot. If he understood that I'd become touched by something greater... Ah, if you don't open your eyes. Huh? That's not my fault what happens, okay? Uh? What are you gonna do? A gentle warmth touched my lips, and my eyes suddenly opened. Well, this is your fault. You are the one that closed your eyes when you did. Riku's face seemed hazy through my eyes. He was too close. Oh, I wanted to do that all this time. And we didn't get a picture for it. But, if I was going to kiss you, I wanted to do it as myself and not as Libera. Riku. He's so kind. Still, I'm embarrassed. 
<sighs> closing my eyes again? That's why once more I closed my eyes. And is that the end? Yep. All right. Well, I guess we don't have to worry about the period cube uh, rebooting and resuming anything. I guess crashing it was enough to interrupt the process and and that broke everything. I mean, since that's the end, I have to assume that. It was really nice finding out more about Natsu's story, though. Because, uh, yeah, I was definitely curious about him and all the other routes. He just felt like they weren't filling in his story. So I, I'm glad they did actually fill in his story through one of the routes here. Which is pretty cool. But it's sad that he can't be rescued, you know? Time for the epilogue. <sighs> Good. I made it back first. My phone rang as I caught my breath. Oh, it's Riku. Hello? Oh, I'm sorry I'm late. It's okay, I just got here, so you don't have to hurry. Well, I was about to leave, but my mom stopped me before I went out. Are you okay? Don't push yourself. Jeez, you don't lay off for a second. Well, if I tell you I'm fine, I'm fine. My mom's just making a big deal out of it. I'm not sick anymore like I used to be. But your mom's worried. Well, yeah, I know. Never mind that. You came from the hospital, right? How's Shiki doing? Yeah, he's the same as usual. I tried talking to him, but he wouldn't really answer me. I see. It's been five years, though. Well, it's been quite a while. Wow, it's already been that long. It had been about five years now since we first met in World V. After we stopped the period cube, my brother was found at the university. He was unconscious and severely weakened in a lab that wasn't being used. He woke up several months afterward and seemed to have lost his memories. Even after five years, he still couldn't remember World V or the period cube. I wonder why. Was his, was his brain, like, inextricably linked with the period cube and it caused severe damage? According to the nurse, he had restless nights of fitful dreams, so perhaps they were still in a corner of his mind. At times, I did feel like I wanted to do something for him, but I didn't know what to say to him. Several people had lost their lives. No one would know, but it was still a sin. And for a sin to go unpunished is something no one would allow to happen. I can only help him when he allows himself to face what he's done, atones for his sins, and starts over again. Humans are tough. Wounds heal over time. They can even stand up again. I wanted to try and believe in what he said and wait for him until then. I hope he remembers one day. It doesn't have to be soon. But I wouldn't want that. <sighs> oh, there we go. He looks so much better now. Okay, now I can get on board with this. If only he could have been like that through the rest of the game. Oh, he looks so much like his brother. He's like a prettier version of his brother. Eek! Oh, I wouldn't like it if you forgot everything that happened in World V. Riku. Even if that happened... I'd make you remember everything. Look at this. It's a pamphlet. The university you were talking about? Riku flipped through the pamphlet and stopped at a page with a folded corner. Oh, there you are. He'd been accepted to a university in America as an international student. The article was about his debate and the accolades he received. You look so energetic in this picture. Really? I wish they could have taken a cooler picture of me, though. He's plenty cool already. We were about the same height when we first met, but he had grown much taller. Now he was off to a medical university. In addition, it seemed he'd been researching the digitization of data that was written in Natsu's journal. Well, the way the courses were laid out are way different from universities here. Well, they treat all the students as if they were already researchers in the field. And that goes to show how incredible your essay was. Oh, what's wrong? You seem down. I'll miss you. You just got hot and now you're leaving. No, I'm not. You're lying. You are. I'm telling you, I'm not. He took the pamphlet from me. Relax. I won't go overseas. What? At least, not until I graduate here. I didn't say anything. Well, say what you want. I'm now your boyfriend, so I want to know. 
You are not going to say it. Though it was sweet and gentle, the way he whispered pressured me into speaking. I never want to get in the way of your dreams. I want to support you. But... Riku saw through the next thing I was about to say and smiled playfully. Jeez, he's such a tease. But I might be as well, since I knew how Riku would respond. I'll only like it if I go with you. My first and last selfish request, Riku gave me the biggest smile and a kiss. Of course I will. Aww. That seemed like a short epilogue. And since I had decided I'm going to go ahead and record the bad ending, I'm going to save the, uh, from his perspective for the ending video, because that one will be a little bit shorter, so it'll be better to tag it onto that. So, hope to see you there or in some of my other videos, and I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. Do really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.